Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we focus on The Lion King at the Lyceum Theatre in the West End of London. Welcome to the Billion Dollar Musical Club. In fact, the Seven Billion Dollar Club. Disney's The Lion King is still selling out and wowing crowds around the world in 2016. I've made no secret over the years of my love for The Lion King. It's beautiful, moving, compelling and spectacular, entering its 17th year in London. It literally has everything you want for the perfect night out, with music by Elton John and some of the world's most inventive, surprising, impressive and beautiful staging costumes, lighting, choreography, script and puppetry. It has it all. This isn't just a five-star musical, it's in a league of its own. It's truly a guaranteed hit and repays your ticket fee and the £70 million invested in it tenfold, in my opinion. Without question, this is still the greatest family musical in theatrical history. It's a dull sunny afternoon then in London and at the Lyceum Theatre I find myself again for another performance of The Lion King with 2,100 sellout punters all looking forward to the show. From the opening second, they're captivated from 5 to 95 years old in the audience. Truly, if I had the choice of seeing one last final show, it would be this, The Lion King. I cannot think of a bad thing to say about it. The use of lighting, staging, silhouette is so powerful, meaningful and moving. This story resonates with so many people's lives on so many levels. For the kids, it's captivating and spectacular. For the adults, it touches a nerve with love, loss, family and survival as the backbone of its story. The majesty, precision, craft of script and performance of The Lion King is literally mind-blowing. In recent weeks, I've left most shows at the interval, or before in some cases, The Lion King continues to evolve and seemingly has more purpose the older it and we get. You can hear a tribute at the end of the show with many stars talking about The Lion King and, of course, its creators too. Got Quan Beverly Knight all talking to us and choreographer and genius Julie Taymor will also be on, along with many of the creatives from the original Lion King production. Nod should go in this show to Sean Escoffrey, who is so masterful, brilliant and commanding as Mufasa. It's a shame he only sings one song, but he nails it and shines. Sean is the epitome of a leading man, which fully explains why he's been doing this role for so long. I think I first interviewed him over 10 years ago in the role. He's still there and doing exceptionally well. His tone is insanely beautiful and his delivery of this character is second to none. George Asprey also proves his genius hitting the perfect balance with Scar's creepy, dark and unpleasant side match with his equal measure of sarcasm, as well as being troubled and very needy. His pathos is brilliant. Despite being despicable, you can't help feeling a tad sorry for him. Amazing job. Also, I love Brown Lewindy McKeezy. She steals the show as Rafiki, the voice of an angel with an enormous personality and charisma that makes the huge Lyceum feel like a tiny showroom. I just love her. She makes the show. I also love the fact that after 15 years, the producers are still adding new lines and tweaks to the show. There's a dig at Frozen, blatant pop at Let It Go, references to DIY SOS and a Riverdance parody, which received massive applause. Just so clever and brilliant. There's not a word missed or wasted during this 2.5 hour spectacular. It's a masterclass in a killer no filler, which so many could learn from. The entire ensemble should be applauded for their faultless, seamless, effortless performance. The band were terrific and the live percussion in the auditorium was as magical, evocative and moving as ever. So, you might have noticed I rather like The Lion King. After 16 years, it still is a five-star masterpiece of musical amazement and moving sentiment that leaves you feeling empowered, enlightened and exhilarated. The perfect night in the West End on the joyous roller coaster that is The Lion King, full of African heart. Don't miss The Lion King at the Lyceum Theatre in London's West End. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our interviews and reviews at Beautiful, Motown the Musical, Kinky Boots, and many more at www.celebrityradio.biz. Thanks for tuning in. ta -da. Here's some stars of the show and creatives talking about the brilliance of The Lion King. Any child who came into the theater could see something that they could identify with and something that they knew, you know, to expand the consciousness of our youth and of everybody. And um, the story is so positive. I have seen the film lots of times. I've got two young nieces and it's a, it's a favorite with them. I've just read the program. I mean, the costumes look absolutely phenomenal. And I am a bit of a West End Wendy, I have to say. And of course, boys in tights. What more do you want? I am in 
intrigued to see what it's like here. I imagine it's going to be spectacular. I think it'll blow New York away, probably. We get into the story. The story is, has a real message about uh, finding yourself and facing who you are. And uh, and as an actor and as a singer, it was a real joy just to take those elements, to work in the character, and to to bring it to life on stage. We didn't have a voice dialect. We actually had the real people doing it. And it was gym for my tongue, because you were just doing things that it wasn't used to doing, using muscles in a way that you just hadn't used them. So it was a phenomenal experience. And I can still remember a bit of it now. When Rafiki did her thing today, it was like, oh my God, that took me months and months and months to get right. <laughs> stories of people who've come at, an, at a time in their life where they're needed to see it. We often say it's pure entertainment or it's escapism, but when it's at its best, it actually does both. And I think Lion King is one of those shows that's able to have a foot in both worlds. This will mean a lot for my daughter, so that's why I'm here really. The theatre is amazing, their the live experience is, you can't, it's like nothing else. When it's good, it's, it's amazing. Wait, there's no mountain to great. I trained years ago as an actor, and so theatre was a massive part of, of my youth. And, and I still come back and still get those moments of, oh no, I want to do it, I want to get out there. You know, I, I love them all, I have to say. I do like musicals in particular. Typical gay man, I'm afraid. <laughs> I think it is the best. I went with my 11 year old, and my six year old, and my three year old. All of them were transfixed the whole way through. It's a beautiful um, production and, and brilliant school, brilliant story. Just, just absolutely, it's a must see. It's a great family show, so I re highly recommend it.